I remember the paralyzing fear I felt reading in the newspapers about the bombings of Hamburg in 1943. My Andreas' unit was stationed in the city at the time. I was worried sick for weeks, and finally a letter from Wehrmacht arrived. Andreas was severely burned, but alive. They say all the Allies wanted at the time was to stop the Nazi U-boat production. They succeeded, but at the same time, Hamburg with its inhabitants burned almost completely. When the incendiary bombs penetrated through the cellars full of coal, all hell broke loose. Now I arrive in Hamburg, witnessing the aftermath of the monstrous firestorms my husband had once encountered. I honestly never thought I'd see a game like this rebuilding Germany after the end of the Second World War in this city builder slash simulator known as World War II Rebuilder Cities from the Ashes. You may have seen this before on the channel, but this is something new out literally today is the Germany Prologue where you can download and play this yourself. Just check Steam for uh, the different types of prologues that they have going on for both the UK where previously we rebuilt a cargo rail station and today we're rebuilding Hamburg in this really promising looking game that has gotten even better. There's great cutscenes now and a lot of information about the battles and the cities affected heavily by the damage of World War II, the bombing, the rocket strikes, artillery, and the battles that raged in the streets of cities big and small all across Europe. Well, off to West Germany then as we rebuild the areas around the Hamburg docks and see if we can bring some light to a very dreary post-war situation. Thanks again, everybody, for smashing the like button to promote the channel. Thank you very much for subscribing to see more of this. And thanks to each and every one of you becoming members and or dropping member bombs in the chat for everyone else to enjoy all of our awesome emotes. Let's go. The city of Hamburg. Just after the war, it is now time for us to rebuild. What was that over here? Demolition tool. We can use our hammer to clear all sorts of different rubble, to which there seems to be lots of uh, war debris around from the actual battle. And then, of course, things like crates and boxes and uh, rocks and whatnot around. Oh, a flashback to the battle. Possibly American troops advancing? And a panther tank. Watch out, boys. Wow. Well, some pretty big damage here from not only the battle, but the bombings, too. Our first goal here is to clear the area around the church, and look at how massive this structure is. My god. We have to destroy all the ruins on the shore, rebuild the canal banks, build up the church a bit, and then all the buildings around it. Let's see if we can clear some of this stuff here. And yes, it'll be on us to rebuild parts of the church, and of course it'll take thousands of people, thousands of hours, in order to fully clear all this rubble and then pick it all up. My god, there's stuff everywhere. The pews, different types of debris and rubble and dirt, sand, and there's some ladders and such too, which we can more than likely move around. Looks like a holder for the bell tower, to which there is the bell. So that is actually structure for the bell which we'll have to bring up and uh, clean up too. Yeah, we got all sorts of different tools here. Things like brushes, for example, to clean up the bell. We've got uh, torches to cut apart metal, and of course hammers to 
bust our way through pretty much anything that stands in our way in order to, uh, well, to rebuild. The people of Germany are strong, though. So strong that we can do this. Yes, ma'am. That's one strong lady right there. She probably wants us to repaint the interior of this building, which will be one of our tasks, too. But I did walk past something that originally I thought was a tank, but no, we have access to a bulldozer now. And we can actually take all the materials that we reclaim from this and put them into these bins here. Yeah, we can destroy this building, put them in the mobile bins then, these mobile containers. And we can take metal, rubble, wood, and brick to rebuild some of the sites that we have to after clearing them. Let's hop on board the bulldozer. I am very excited for this year in terms of building games. We're getting a new construction simulator as well. And with World War II Rebuilder being a game that combines city building and simulation and history of World War II, man, it's going to be a great year for building games. But this one is incredibly unique. I've played many a World War II game, both shooter and strategy, and I've played many a city builder. But I've not seen a game that actually combines all sorts of different types of history and also actual stories. For example, if you download the prologue for the uh, British or the UK campaign where you play as someone completely different, there actually is a story about a, uh, a real story about someone who uh, was on a train uh, conductor, someone who worked for the railroads and then stopped a runaway train essentially loaded with bombs from basically plowing into even more trains and causing a massive explosion in a city. Could have wiped it off the map. So stories, big and small, cities, big and small, all can be rebuilt and told here. And it's quite interesting. There's uh, little posters and such all around that we're going to go ahead and take a look at. You can see one hanging over there on the... Whoa, okay. Yeah, those German buildings, bro. They don't uh, they don't build <laughs> like they used to. Wow. All right. Um, okay. Well, as you can see, not a perfect game. It's a prologue, but, you know, got to leave that in because that's funny. Wow. That was impressive. Jeez. All right, then. Let's go ahead and keep on working on that. There we go. Perfect. Maybe it's me. I, I must be the problem. It can't be the bulldozer. This bulldozer's too meaty and beefy looking. Gotta be the uh, error exists between steering wheel and chair. <laughs> Alright, well let's knock down some more of these walls. These, of course, are from a large building that was here. Damaged by the fire bombings on the city from 1943 and onward. And then, of course, the battles that took place in and around the city as well. Go ahead and clear all these fields of debris. I like how they've made it relatively easy. Of course, it's a, um, a simulator that somewhat gets close to simulating the different types of tasks of operating cranes and, in occasion, uh, disarming bombs and transporting goods around and, of course, uh, rebuilding things. So try, trying to touch on a little bit of everything, this game does a pretty good job of at least uh, keeping the subject matter uh, relevant to this situation. Rebuilding cities in, I've seen on the map so far, East Germany, West Germany, the Soviet Union, the UK, uh, parts of France, and other cities uh, such as, um, or rather, nations such as Yugoslavia. And I think I've seen Hungary and Romania on there as well. Uh, so there may be some cities and, and uh, battles uh, that have taken place near cities that might need rebuilding, perhaps like a large port or a rail yard, something along those lines to tell even those stories. Well, I've done a good job of making a mess down there, didn't I? But it uh, looks like we got ourselves 300 uh, points for clearing out this area, and we now have a new quest, so we'll bring the bulldozer over here. Now, again, this is a work in progress, so please do give a lot of feedback on what you'd like to see or what you think could they, they could improve upon. Obviously, certain things such as the sounds of the bulldozer and the hilarious issue we had earlier are definitely things that they can improve upon, but again, that's something that they're working on. Looks like there's actually an uh, area to connect a tow rope to this bulldozer, so there might be a way to possibly drag that bell out of the fountain and get that all fixed up. Anyway, now we can pick up all this rubble. This is going to be important for rebuilding the area that we're going to work on next, which is going to be uh, the canal banks. So now that this is rebuilt, or rather cleared for rebuilding, we can now work on the banks. So anything could be put here, uh, another building or a park or perhaps just a staging area for more construction on the church. There's different types of debris in the game. Again, bricks and rubble are separate from also... Uh, wood, so we'll need a lot of uh, different materials for what we're about to do here. Now, I doubt that we're going to be able to clean up everything in time for the end of today's video. So just make sure that you've subscribed and uh, also watch the uh, live streams where we're going to do this one in its entirety. Is this a note? Bombing analysis. Journal. Oh, looks like we've gotten some other information, too. Okay. 
Destroy the ruins on the shores, decorate the area. Yes, they want us to decorate too for uh, making it a public space. Looks like this is a collectible. There's some more information here you can read if you'd like to. The actual documentation, some of it modified for obvious reasons, but it uh, looks like we can also get skills too to eventually get more things for detection. Something you may have seen earlier when I press the uh, control key, it actually shows us everything that we can interact with and rebuild or replace, and uh, yeah. So, let's get down to that canal. We're gonna need some wood to do that though, so I'm gonna grab a few more bricks. We're gonna try to rebuild a section of the canal and uh, continue to clean up all this debris. So this is what's really fun about this, is once you've kind of cleaned up everything uh, in terms of the larger scale project, you can kind of get all organized. So once we're done here, we can go over to all those mobile bins and drop this off and then grab the materials that we need. As you can see on the right side, we can hold 145 bricks, 65 wood, and 95 uh, rubble. And we can increase the storage of that by upgrading with our skills. This kind of simulates having like a wheelbarrow around or whatnot. It certainly would be tedious to carry over, uh, you know, a few bricks at a time, drop them off or pick them up and doing it over and over again. It looks like there's going to be a lot of great historical context here. So to be able to visit these sites where I've actually visited this site before. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I've been to Hamburg, Germany before and I've been to this very location. Not precisely this location, but the warehouse area in Hamburg where Miniature Wonderland is, and uh, there's many locations that look like this too. The bridges, some locations are different and look a little different, but quite interesting to have been in one of these locations and now seeing it destroyed and being rebuilt uh, as it was so long ago. Kind of a proud moment to actually be able to see, uh, you know, a nation trying to change and rebuild and, and heal all wounds after something so tragic. Looks like there's many locations we have to build here. We'll start on this location. Looks like we're also pulling out weeds and, and such too. So let's go ahead and get the rest of this stuff out of here. We're going to try to fill up on wood. But I think this game's doing a great job of at least trying to uh, honor all of the uh, people who sacrificed uh, for rebuilding these cities and for ending the conflict as quickly as, as possible. Uh, some of the methods to do that might not be as... Uh, glorifying as others, but at least uh, some things can come out of the ashes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, clear out the rest of these debris here. Oh, it actually looks like we've got this for the most part. We should be able to rebuild if we clear that rubble there, so we just need to make a little bit of room. So let's go back over to those bins. We'll drop off some of the rubble here, and I think we can do that by just clicking uh, to drop off a little bit at a time. Oh, no, it drops off the whole thing. Okay. we still got plenty of room for bricks. Still plenty of room for uh, rubble. All right. Back to our hammer. Great. So now we can get started on the wall construction. So we'll go back and grab some of that rubble. I do like how we can clear areas and then use it somewhere else. So essentially, we can take all the debris here. And there's going to be a lot of rubble. This is something that you end up with mostly in this game, a crazy amount of rubble that you end up with time and time again, so um, but it's nice to be able to use it as a primary building material. We've got wood now for the pier and we've got the walkway as well, and it looks like we need even more rubble looks like this area needs to be cleaned up a little bit being overgrown a little bit oh, looks like we can use the sandbags we're clearing. I think we need bricks here. Uh, I don't think we have enough, though. Let's see. Oh, we do. And we can now finish up the roadway here. The pier, I suppose. With some wood. Back to rubble. Which we gotta grab some more again. So yes, we can continue to clean up this area. And eventually build some stuff here. Alright, and in fact, once the area is clear, it becomes a construction site. So then we can build some things here. So now we can decide what we want to do. So in this case, we can build a fountain square. Or a cafe on the riverbank. Tenement house. I think I'd like to go with the cafe, perhaps. Attract a little bit of business over here. Especially next to the church. It's probably going to be a lot more people uh, swinging by. Wanting to something like that. So, very cool. That we can actually do those types of things like that. 
but I think we'll uh, select that for now. Uh, wrong position, it says, but um, I think it's just because things need to be clear. Now, once we clear out other areas, we can do that. Same task, just in many other locations. Wow, looks like there's a lot of people here who are post-war soldiers who are looking for work. They've still got their uniform or whatnot, but they're willing to help out. And it looks like we're going to be tasked with cleaning up all this as well, all the former propaganda. And also cleaning up all the things up to the barriers. Now, I don't see any tanks. I don't see any bodies. It doesn't look like anything's overly grim. But the subject matter, of course, is at least uh, true to the scenarios. From what I've seen here so far. So that's good. And it looks like we are fenced into this area. So we're going to have to clean up all the wood here. All the rubble here. And then get working on the church. And then also do building up top. Oh, it looks like we can get another one here too. So yes, we must find those posters. It must be part of some other task. Let's check the building in which this uh, woman wants us to work on here. It'll task us with doing cleanup inside, so rebuilding the stairwells perhaps. We have to go up there very slowly. That's making us go very slow up those stairs. Looks weird. And it looks like some rooms where perhaps there could be some shootouts or something like that from the windows maybe I was expecting to see another cutscene of soldiers shooting from the windows an important position to hold the church tall towers are good for communications and for snipers etc looks like we might be able to go in that room too Let's check this out first ease of access Documentation here. Some artwork. Oh, wow. Yep. So we're going to need to be diligent about rebuilding this as well. And possibly uh, tearing down the wall, then rebuilding it so it's all one sturdy piece. Jeez, look at that. Shoes, tipped over stoves. Very nice couches, too. Okay. Tidy up a few of the things here. Oh, looks like we can go up to the roof, too. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, that looks great. They did a good job. At least of the surrounding area. And the interior of the buildings doesn't look too bad, either. Kind of reminds me of playing the original uh, Call of Duty and Call of Duty 2, but yet here in Hamburg. <laughs> doing actual... Rebuilding, which is right up my alley, too. Combining a few things that I really love. The interest of World War II and also uh, being proactive in building a city. In this case, rebuilding. And I like the choices that we can make, too. And using the heavy equipment. Love that. All right, well, there must be more we can do here. There's probably going to be some quests and things like that that they'll ask us to do. But in this case, we probably would start from the top of the stairs and work our way down, breaking all, all the broken pieces. Breaking them further, removing them. And then replacing them. Like that. Well, same with the uh, banisters and the railings. Nice. Making it much better. Cool. So we'll be doing this throughout the whole building here. I wanted to see if we could cut through there. I'm not sure if we can actually go into this area. Might be part of a quest as well for later. To actually uh, break into that area too. Good to survey, to find out where we're going and what we're doing. And, of course, more secrets for the stories. We'll be coming back here, I think, for sure. And finding out more about people who lived here and see how we can help to uh, rebuild things. Looks like there might be a cellar here. Broken glass. Clean that up. Oh, we got lots of stuff. And we're on the back side of the canal. What a nice place it would be to live. Oh, it looks like there was a ladder here. And a gate. Right, so this will lead to our cafe, so we'll continue to clean this up. So another thing we can do in this game is also uh, bricklaying. So in addition to kind of like building things piece by piece, bricklaying is kind of a little bit more intricate. We can actually take the bricks that we get off the ground, just like the rubble and wood, and we can use that for actual bricklaying. So instead of it just being like a, you know, left-click-to-place wall, it's kind of a little bit more of... Oh, wow. 
actually uh, laying out the the wall like this, yeah. A little less tedious uh, than it was in the UK map, that's for sure. So we're basically looking to level this out to build the walls. Okay, yeah. They're so trying to make short work of fairly large projects. We're going to need a scaffold, I think, to go get up to the top of the walls. Probably only be able to build it so high. Now we need more bricks, of course. So I do like about this that, you know, there's plenty of resources around. We don't need to order off-site or something like that. Like, literally, there's thousands of bricks and rubble around that we can repurpose. That's a cool thing. Not to mention that when this area is done, the people of the city will kind of uh, make certain requests. Like, you'll get a request from a mayor or uh, somebody who's a conductor of a train station or something like that or, or whatnot. And uh, a, a, an authority figure will come to you and say, hey, uh, this area is going to need this, so see what you can do. And they'll kind of be vague about it. They'll say, like, this area is a little dark at night. If you could brighten things up, that'd be great. And so thus, they're basically looking for a lot of street lights or, um, you know, some sort of a something that'll give them light. Maybe they mean a skylight. It's all on you to try to determine that whenever you build your structures and whenever you decorate the town. Like, for example, a train station is going to require benches, and a uh, town like this is going to require street lights and benches and garbage cans and uh, maybe signs for parking and for speed limits and things like that. Another poster there. We found one here, one by the church on the front side, and then one over in that building, too. Looking good. So, as you can see, as we do this, we're now uh, almost 36% done with everything. I think. Things will slow down as we get a little bit further into um, some of the other projects that are a little, more, a little bit more intricate, so, such as working inside of the tenement buildings. Those will be very uh, important to work on for all the detailing. It's not just like a large area like this. Looks like there's just a few more pieces. I'm going to move the bulldozer out of here as well. That way the bulldozer is not in the way of the cafe that we plan to build. Let's go ahead and put this perhaps over here. We can actually use the bulldozer outside of the initial site, getting us more bricks just like that. Cool. So we could drive this around to the front of the church, possibly clean up the areas around the fountain. Uh, we want to pick through it a little bit first to make sure that we're ga gathering all things like this. All the different pieces of the church. Cool boxes and... <laughs> that appeared to be a propane tank and piping and things like that. We don't want to just crush everything and push it aside. Go ahead and level the plane again. And continue to lay. So that's uh, what the uh, brick laying tool is like here too. We can use the crawl and other things to lay bricks in other levels. It looks like there'll be a little bit of, bit of variety to each, which is kind of a relief actually. To be able to do wall building but differently in each section is kind of kind of nice actually. Go ahead and remove some of this debris here. And... Uh, You'll be running back and forth to many sections because you'll work on one thing and then have to get materials for another. So you might be finding yourself procuring resources on site or going back to your bins from another job that you did just uh, nearby. Oh, that hurts to break that. It looks too beautiful. Well, sometimes you have to crack a few eggs, you know? A few more bricks. Now, once we plaster everything, obviously the, you know, the beautiful stonework here is much different than the brickwork here, but I guess we're going to use this as a temporary fix and then remodel it later. Getting it back to its original glory as quickly as possible will be a symbol to the nation that we are rebuilding and coming out of utter despair and fill those gaps so that way they can eventually remodel it later. Great, almost 50% done with this area. My goodness, that's great. All right, well, we've fixed up a bit of the damaged building. Let's go check that bell. I want to go see what that's all about here. So where could we drive that bulldozer? Perhaps we could squeeze through here, maybe. And perhaps we can get it down the stairs. It's going to be a tight fit, but it would be great to use it after clearing all the wood. I think the bell needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Oh, uh, there we go. So obviously all the fire bombing has created an incredible amount of ash and soot. It needs to be cleared off. Made in 1988? Uh, 
maybe that was remade in 1988 or something. Ugh, I wish we could get it out of here to clean this up. What they're going to want us to do is to probably rebuild the interior of that tower, or it'll be a main quest, but it's cool that you can do all sorts of different uh, cleaning as well. Oh, there we, there we go. Looks nice. Collect one church bell. Oh, there we go. Wow, look at that. Amazing. Now we got to get up there somehow. And this ladder is not going to cut it. But there might be a way to get inside. Ah, there we are. Ooh, pretty. Uh, I don't think they want us going in there. Lots of beautiful artwork and such that they were hoping that would not be damaged by the bombing. That is freaky. Is that a... Oh, that's a statue. Wow, that guy looked real. <laughs> I thought that was a monk. Ah, there we are. Yes, beautiful artwork, stonework, statues, and more. And it looks like we'll need metal here. Structural support for below the bell. The only church bell I've seen like this is in uh, Delft in the Netherlands, in the new church, across from the old church, ironically, and uh, beautiful... Uh, mechanics inside there as well. All right, we'll need that ladder then. So in order to put our ladder down, we can pop that just like this. I like how the ladder is very uh, janky. Obviously, resources are scarce, so anytime that you can get anything rebuild is going to be amazing. I can't wait to see other locations such as uh, Poland and uh, hear other stories and, and see what else they can come up with to keep things interesting in this game. I think that's going to be a very big challenge to see different types of locations and uh, different types of equipment, wrecking balls, and um, you know, like we saw here today, bulldozers and perhaps dump trucks and other types of tools that we can unlock. We need to go down and get some more metal now. So I would like to do that. There we go. I would like to at least finish that bell. So now we're going to be on the lookout primarily for metal any time that we can find it. Uh, let's see. A lot of it is corrugated looking steel. Take a little uh, peek around looking at mostly wood and debris and brick. I wouldn't imagine there being too much metal inside the church. Have some jerry cans. Metal there. Oh, there we go. So the Germans were using this as some sort of a supply depot, I suppose. And all sorts of goods are here. Not affiliated with the church. Okay, let's go back up to the top. We have uh, 41 metal now. There we are. And now we can put the church bell in. Oh, step out of object. My mistake. There we are. Beautiful. The belfry is ready. The hunchback of Hamburg. There we go. to go upstairs. Let's talk with those gentlemen in the uh, alleyway here. Oh, British private. Move along crowd. Oh, really? Oh, they, they, these guys did not look British at all. My colleagues can be harsh. Sorry for him. Alright, so the British are in control of the sector here as we rebuild then. I was assuming that those were just out of work uh, German soldiers. The British should be having their... Um, well, a, a different uniform. But again, it's a work in progress, and I'm assuming some of these things are placeholders, and those could be Germans for perhaps the Eastern Front, as there will be East Germany and West Germany, too. All right, we got a lot of junk to clean up, so I think the best thing for us to do now will be to smack all this stuff and then start rebuilding picnic 
uh, tables. Well, in this case, it looks to be a public bench made of stone. Oh, it's a marketplace. Well, that looks like it's made of stone and not wood. Oh, would you look at that? We're actually building a little market. Hey, that's going to be great. Getting people to come back outside again and feel comfortable shopping in an area that was once a, just a massive battlefield. That's all good. Lots of little junk to clean up. And then to rebuild fresh fruits and vegetables. A sign of changing times of better days. Very nice. All right, more bricks that we can pick up. So once we're done with all of this, the biggest project is going to be, as I mentioned, the decorations. That's going to take a lot of materials and a lot of uh, listening to the local people to kind of do. Wow, look at that. Two and a half stars already. We've made great progress here. Grab some more wood. Oh yeah, we're loading up quickly with that wood. Now, everything else that we don't reclaim can go into those boxes and go towards uh, crafting decorations for the town. And then anything else we don't use, uh, you kind of want to use everything, actually. You can go well beyond the call of duty of uh, rebuilding the town and decorating it and just do kind of whatever you like. There is the option to do that. Uh, now, there's two prologues out that are really good. And I believe the same publisher or developer is working on other games that are interesting for World War II, as well as a game called Sherman Commander, where you can take command of a Sherman tank in World War II, and also another game called Destroyer U-Boat Hunter, I believe. So you can play as a some sort of an American-class destroyer towards the start of World War II for the United States and try to uh, protect merchant ships as they cross the Atlantic under fire of German U-boats, which is interesting because that's exactly why, uh, according to the story that uh, Hamburg was being firebombed so much, was to try to stop the production of uh, and the support of all of the German U-boats that were wreaking havoc on Allied shipping uh, to the UK and also any sort of Allied nation and or movement of American troops or British troops or whomever and working together to make sure that was taken care of and to try to secure the shipping. Uh, sinking tonnage was a big goal for the Germans to make sure that the British were truly starved and that the reinforcements could not arrive. Wow, look at how quickly we've cleaned up all of this. It's amazing. We'll probably leave a lot of the rubble here. Grab some of that last. Look at all the boxes. Jeez, man, that's so much. Crates and grates, ladders and chairs, doors window frames you know I'm, I'm actually really happy with this that a lot of the junk is not necessarily just kind of generic chair number 300,000 there's a lot of boxes as you would imagine for the various supplies of perhaps German artillery shells and munitions and whatnot but also things that could be used by the local people such as shipping crates for other smaller crates for distribution of things like um, you know this could have been food or uh, different types of uh, furniture and such trying to be shipped out of the city or, or whatever tr people trying to save heirlooms and things from their family and whatnot and then of course uh, you know generic chairs are good but not too plentiful there there just seems to be a little bit of thought where things are being placed it's not too um, repetitive I mean something should be chairs in a city or something that are gonna be quite common but it doesn't seem to be overly done and I like that all right, so I think the goal now is going to be to break everything down and then try to start cleaning up the rubble. I think we can also place the um, mobile bins over here too once we get a little more full. Since we are still rebuilding things, things go in and things go out in terms of our inventory. Very nice. Very nice. So much to clean up. A little bit more metal there. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're definitely full on this. Okay, let's see if we can move those uh, bins around. We can go pick them up. Oh, the interior of the church is going to be amongst one of the last things to do too. But the area with the cafe is looking great. So, oh, 
These are extra supplies for rebuilding. This will be perfect for the cafe. This is all ready to go. So these are free materials delivered. Not all can be reclaimed from the wreckage of the town, but most things it looks like can. Just drop everything off and continue to clean up. Right, so the cafe area looking great. The church need a little bit of work, but it's getting there. Definitely some more documentation stuff that we're going to find underneath the uh, rubble here. Let's clean out this area at least. Try to clean out the area under the bell tower. Beautiful. Okay. And if there's more to do upstairs, we'll find that later. And of course, outside of the church too, just on the outskirts. But we'll work with the uh, square now. Area's a little muddy. Oh, I did forget to go grab all the uh, boxes that we saw out there. See if we can move them here. Okay. More rubble for us. Wow, look at all the bricks. Certain, certainly getting a lot of those now. A lot of bricks there. Oh man, could you imagine if we just got a three or four crate delivery of bricks? Could you imagine how many, uh, you know, there were like 50 bricks in there. How many are going to be needed to rebuild a building there? It's going to be insane. Break that down again. Probably rebuild this banister here as soon as we can. A little bit of a, a railing there. Wow. Much, much more to be done. We got a lot of work ahead of us. It's going to take a long time. All right, let's continue here with dropping off a few of our supplies. So we got more wood to go. So we've got uh, wood here. Good. And then uh, bricks and rubble should be fine. But um, let's just go ahead and make sure we check everything. Rubble, metal, wood, bricks, all in there. Good. All right. Back to the church. Uh, marketplace. I guess we can start cleaning up a little bit of this, too. Shorten our walk. There we go. Ooh, lots of wood. And lots of debris. Lots and lots of debris. All right, a little bit more. Nice. Okay. Just the section around the walls, then. There we go. And look at all the bricks that we're getting out of this debris. There is seriously going to be a big wall construction project going on somewhere in this area. Got to have something to do with... Oh, oh, that's decorative. It's got to have something to do with rebuilding the walls around here. Like this is another section where things have been removed. And there it is, the section of the wall needing repair. With rubble, there we go. Looking good. Must be a section on the inside needing removal. There it is. Yeah, there we go. Clean up and renovate the market. Good. A little uh, dirty, but for the most part, our job is done. Some others will have to come along to clean that up and tidy up even further. Anything for the... Uh... Oh, excellent. Tidied up the fountain even. Very nice. So there's some mud and whatnot, but some people with shovels and whatnot should be able to clean up the rest of this and possibly do some repaving. All right, let's clean up our mess. We might need all these materials for the construction of the cafe, so. All right. Everything here looks good, right? Yeah, let's clean up here, actually. Ah, much better, much better. Apparently this old tree can go. I don't know if this is dead or not, so I'm just going to leave that tree. 
We might need to leave that later, but it is winter, so it's hard to tell. It looks like it could be all right. Maybe. All right, let's do a quick scan. Yeah, it looks like the tree needs to be removed, too. But giving us free wood with some of which having nails in it. Very funny. Now, let's see if we've got any more uh, upgrades. We also have a game guide there. Ability points are zero. I believe we get these for completing total tasks. So, we may have gotten some for uh, completing a tutorial, which is just before this section, too. Looks like more trees are being requested to be taken down. Really, though? I feel like these are okay. I I would feel bad about removing those, even though it says we should. More on the roadway, then. Need to get the vehicles through. We need supplies to come to the market, so we better uh, make some more areas for vehicles to get through. Ah, very good. There's got to be more story around here somewhere. There must be something to do with those posters. I've been trying to look for it whenever I... We've broken so much stuff, but I've been trying to look for it every time we destroy something. Alright, looking good. Okay, we'll jump back here to put stuff in these areas. If there's more things to uh, shop and build there. We'll go with bricks then. Brick and wood, rubble and metal. Perfect. Clear it up again. Inventory space. Ready for more. A little bit more wood. More metal from the barbed wire, too. Great. In this case, we need to build something for that cafe. I feel like building the cafe is the last thing we're going to do, marking this area kind of being modernized, getting a kind of an addition, going from a tenement building to a cafe if we can. Of course, the tenement building is what used to be there before being destroyed. Right, this is looking good. Let's go uh, to the canal, actually, and use some of the materials that we have. So. Uh, what I think I'll do is rip everything up. We'll grab everything that we can. And then any extra materials that we need, such as bricks or rubble, we can bring back here. Great. Some materials being lost to the river. Not great, but... Not the first time that's going to happen. Or the last. Okay, let's add the wood. We'll put in the pillars. Put in the wall sections. We'll put in the rubble. It looks like we need some more here. Well, we've got plenty of that. There seems to also be metal in these areas, but I think this is holding up buildings or trying to keep something back. Like debris that has just fallen, that's falling into the area. Do some more rubble here. I think we can right-click to reclaim. There it is. And I think we're okay on bricks. Now we still have the bridge to clean in the initial area where we started on the other side of the river. There we are. And more wood. And more rubble again. The rubble's really just like stone that can be chiseled and put together. Ah, great. More debris. Wow, looking great out here. We'll get a bonus, I think, for cleaning up this area. Let's do that. A 
Lots of things to remove. Wow, looking great. Now, the bridges that I've seen are now all mostly made of uh, what appears to be like a metal support. Uh, but basically, no more stone or whatnot. They're kind of uh, elevated and made out of uh, iron or whatnot. Looks like I'm actually trapped at the moment here. All right, well, luckily I was able to get us unstuck. Oh, we get to see the cutscenes again. That's good. Here goes the tank. Uh, definitely a uh, panther tank there. So now that we had to restart because of the minor setback, I now have the ability to um, have a few more things in my pockets. In fact, what saved me is that I went and bought an upgrade to get more storage space for all the uh, items uh, that we can carry. So now that we have more carry capacity for wood, and all the other resources, we can now really pick up a lot more. And so without being able to do that, I wouldn't have been able to pick up the wood I was stuck on. There we go. It happens. Alright, even more wood to pick up here. Great that some of the barrels give us quite a bit of uh, resources too. But I'm just going to be like completely crazy here and pick up everything. There we go, we'll pick up more. There we go. Now the great thing about this is again the decorations that we can place down could be a myriad of benches and it could be a used inside the house for remodeling. There's a lot we can do here. Not too much work needed on the bridge. Alright, so here's some of the things that we can decorate with. Post boxes, benches. We can put down different types of trees. Great for outside. Lighting and electricity. We can put down different types of uh, street lights. Tools that we can buy to get up to some of the higher areas. We can also buy materials if we want to. And sell that ladder that we've got. But that might be helpful for later. So we don't necessarily want to do that. Take a look at what else we can pick up here. Looks like just most of the rubble up against the wall. Whoa. Getting hit by some debris there. Well, that seems to do it. We can actually turn in the mission here from these phones when we're done, and I think we can also kind of use it as a way to somewhat save where you can find one of those phones and go to a different section and then save the game before you do. That way you can come back to other areas or save and when you unlock new stuff, go and visit there before you come back. There's going to be a lot of small things that we missed, but there'll probably be another cleaning crew along to clean up everything we may have missed. Great. Alright, looks like for the most part the bridge is cleared. Same with the pier. Area is ready for building for the cafe. <laughs> Great. And of course the uh, house to do. Looks like the building has 136 different areas that need repair. And we're going to find a lot of resources for that. Like we just need to remove old junk. And replace the stairs like that. Great. Not sure what we can do inside these homes. There must be something they want us to do. A lot of junk. Quick scan that shows that we can go inside there, but there doesn't seem to be anything to interact with at the moment. Great. 
stairs are ready to go. The banister's a little tricky. The railing there. Needing a little repair here, too. Now, with all those paints, that might be the task here is to repaint the stairwell. Some of the homes look to have wallpaper. That might look a little out of date, dingy, but not, not so bad. Next thing we want to do is repair the attic of this building where there seemed to be a tremendous amount of damage. Yeah, right up here. Probably not a good idea to pull down the roof like this, but I don't think we have an alternative. Whoa, whoa. And a piece of wood almost pushing me right out the window. Looks like we can go down into somebody's home here. We're going to be rebuilding their roof and the roof of this building. Beams up top have got to go. And same with the roof itself. Just a better idea to bring down the whole building. Well, at least the whole roof. This might be where the scaffolding comes in useful. And, of course, when we rebuild, we can use the ladder here. Or not. Looks like it might be a little too large. Wow, lots of debris. Lots and lots of debris. Okay, another scan shows that everything upstairs is good. Now we go down here, rebuild the wall, and pick up the debris. So we will need more bricks. We have zero now, so we'll have to jump back and grab some. We might get some out of destroying this wall, though, and that's going to make a mess of the area down by the cafe. Just a little bit. Alright, we've got all the wood in the world. Alright, folks, for possibly damaging some of your property. Not much I could do to move it. So we're at 59 out of 136. We've gotten rid of the uh, damaged stairwells and the wall and the roof. Now I guess we have to rebuild. Now let's see, fix the damaged building. See, nothing else highlighted for damage. We may need to go outside and do this from below with the scaffolding. If we need more wood to be removed. All right, back downstairs. I don't think we can get in here. We've tried that before. that door open as well just in case and we're certainly going to want this for rebuilding that wall and the wood's going to be useful for rebuilding the 
The wood for the roof. Of course, that's going to be a useful thing. Well, it looks like we need to drop off some more wood. We got wood, rubble, brick. There again for the most part. With just a little bit of metal on us. Uh, the church is a disaster. Actually, let's go back down. Ah, uh, we still miss stairs and such here. Down this backside. few more things to pick up inside. Bricks from the wall upstairs. Not bad. All right, a little bit more material required. Ooh. Does this need removal? Ah, we can only just interact with it. Looks ancient. And the big church rebuild must be done too. Oh yeah, you can see the banisters. Railings, stairs. Take that wood back up. Wish there was a way where we could only take half the resources needed so that way there's always a buffer for whether or not you're going to give or take some resources from an area. All right, looks all done for the stairs. Nice. Much more to do, that's for sure. Whew. All right, let's put down our cafe. There's our fountain square. Our cafe. And our tenement building. I like the cafe the best. I'm going to put that down then. Nice. And then this is a great area to put a park, too. There could be definitely more things here. Yeah, wait. Actually, we could put down a tenement building and a little uh, cafe. And I love how it goes over the top like that. That's really nice. Very nice indeed. Cool. We got a lot of stuff to build, that's for sure. But unfortunately, we're out of time here today. I want to do a complete run-through on this prologue. So if you don't end up getting it yourself, and if you'd like to see more and find more of the stories and whatnot, we'll go find all the things that we missed finish all the projects that are incomplete and 100% the prologue and perhaps even go and play the UK scenario which you may have missed as well. So don't forget to subscribe, smack that like button, turn on the notification bell and of course say hi down below in the comment section if you haven't already and let me know you want to see more. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, tuning in and hanging out. We'll be back with more World War II Rebuilder from the Ashes sometime soon. Bye, buddy.